What is going on everyone? My name's Boyt and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology, the Titans action spawning in the left side of the map in the blue color playing as Zeus. His name is Pamera, also known as Pegasus Rush. His opponent today in the red color playing as Ra. His name is Squash. Pegasus Rush has forced out the Ra of Squash. Not forced out. I mean, he probably just decided, you know what? I've had enough beating you with Poseidon. I'm going to now beat you with Ra. So Ra now. We're on Midgard. We did see a Midgard map already. Generally speaking, players, when they're doing a series, they like to save on the maps they've already played on. But uh, seemingly, uh, maybe they wanted to play this map out. It's an interesting map. Nonetheless, we are seeing an interesting start here from Squash. Only three villages on the berry bushes here which to me it's not actually it's it gets your fishing ships out a little fast but it's a little bit inefficient and you um have some idle talents at the time so going four onto food on berry bushes uh is a little bit better uh but that's not what we're seeing here in this game uh he's going to be chucking those fishing ships out generally speaking you go four villages onto onto wood you get the next dock up you go over onto gold you're spamming out fishing ships living the dream uh pegasus rush on the other hand here obviously four villages on food as well uh, and then he's going to go up to seven onto wood and then get that next dock up. We do see the Katoskopos scouting out the shoreline. This is so incredibly important here for Pegasus Rush, for every Zeus or Greek player. This is what you need to do. You need to find where your fish is. And currently, Pegasus hasn't found it. So what he should be doing is um, sending the fishing ship this way, just to make sure that he's not missing out on all of this fish here. Because it's actually really, really good fish here for Pegasus Rush. He's got uh, six, uh, eight, or six, nine, 12 fish very close to him. Uh, and then once he knows that he's got 12 fish, he might be wanna, want, wanting to adapt his build order to it because uh, the rest of the fish is, is elsewhere. Because right now, Squash here, he's finding his own fish. We've got uh, six, 12, uh, what's that, nine, 9, 12. So 6, six 12, nine, 12 fish here as well. And then the rest of it is kind of up on this corner. So this Midgard spawn is actually starting to be very strange. I actually thought that it was a fairly consistent 18 fishing ship spawn for uh, for Midgard, but it's seeming like it's closer to the four, closer to 15. Is this 15? Yeah, it's 15 plus 1, 2, 3, which is 18. So you do get 18 fish, but you're on the perch as well. And this is very far away from both players. So a little bit unfortunate here. Uh, and we'll see if, if Pegasus Rush is going to adapt or not. Oh, no. Oh, he's going to be so unhappy. Oh, he's going to be... Oh, he's so... Un oh, he's oh, no. He's going to be so unhappy. I can already tell. Oh, he's... Oh, no. Oh, no. He's so... Oh... He might not be. Like, this isn't bad. You claim these three spots, but you want to claim them last. You want to be over here first. Uh, I feel for I feel for Pegasus Rush here, but he's done it to himself. This is something that I've had an issue with when I've been on water maps or Midgard specifically, is finding where the, where all the fish actually is. And it is just best to just send one fishing ship over if you miss it with the Katoskopos. So you scout with the Katoskopos first. You go, okay, I haven't found it. Let's send fishing ships over one side. Make sure I don't go uh, I don't go the wrong way. Uh, but there's the temple coming up. Pegasus is still nine nine fishing, nine people on uh nine people, Bro, nine yeah. villages on water. On on I can't my brain is not wor working. Nine villages on wood, and he is trying to find his way in this game. The fishing ship looking over here, doing their thing, squash over here now. He's got himself a ton of fish already, and he is actually coming over onto this one as well. Uh, and we'll see how he's gonna go with an advance time generally speaking the 515 advance is pretty good here for squash it's looking like that's exactly what he's doing guards fishing ship jumps the fishing ships into the dock and he's onwards and upwards seven villages onto gold is standard the rest go over to wood and you just play this one out this is perfect play from squash uh pegasus rush is going through athena and he's going eight villages on gold no real surprises there generally at seven but maybe eight is fine as well to get out the earlier purse scene see these fishing ships still coming out and we haven't actually seen pegasus finishing up with this fish over here it's just like i don't even want this fish it's so far away from me 
uh, and we'll see how it's going to go. Another dock over here. You do only really need three docks here as Greek, and you're completely fine. Uh, now, the next question is here for Pegasus Rush is what is he going to try? He sees the exposed gold mine. Are we going to see a land rush here from Pegasus Rush? I think we might. He has a ton of villages on wood, so he doesn't need to go... The thing what he doesn't need to do is he doesn't need to go all in on this. All he needs to do is recognize that his opponent is Ra and is not going to be scouting. So he can hold back the rush and defend. And instead of... Basically, instead of hitting the eight-minute classical age, as we see... Oh, we see archery range going down. Instead of seeing the, uh, the eight-minute 30-ish heroic age, we see... 15 hoplites walking in here and killing your opponent. So it's all about that, but we do see the Wadget spotting this out. Too, too close. Just build it in your base. Just build the barracks in your base. This is a surprise attack, which is really, really strong uh, when your opponent has this. But instead of it being a surprise, he's going all in here. And Squash is going to be aware. We see an immediate two barracks getting thrown down for Squash. The walls are up. The, the watchtowers are up. The Minotaur will not be able to push in here. And, and uh, Pegasus rushes surprise athena rush not much of a surprise right now he yeah. might have to bolt bubba joe as well if he wants to make his way through here we do see the pharaoh getting pulled back at this point as well as these uh these military academies are up toxodes as well going to be huge to help push through the uh the pharaoh getting pulled back what army are we seeing from squash generally speaking it's just going to be axeman slinger and you do want to go more than two barracks we see the walls getting thrown up this is another thing squash wouldn't have set this up if he thought that you were making uh ships and you just need you don't need to make too many you just need enough to defend and it makes me sad that we're not... Oh, I, I want to I wanna restart this game. And I want Pegasus Rush to do my strat. Ah, I feel sad. It's all good. Uh, the uh, Toxos, this is going to be a lot of damage getting dealt right now, nonetheless. But Pegasus Rush's economy here is hurting a lot. There's a big, big shifting sands here. The Hoplites might actually be able to break out of here, though, as the Odysseus is going to try and click back. He is getting targeted down by the Town Center. I don't think he can get out of here uh, without losing his life. We do see the Town Center targeting down the Jason instead. As the Watchtower will break, the army will be able to retreat out of here as these units are pushing in. We could see a restoration at any point here from Pegasus Rush. More units coming out. The Slingers coming through. Axemen coming through. So much, re so many resources, excuse me, in the bank right now for Squash as he has broken down the, uh, the tower, but he's not able to get out of here. Very, very nice uh, play here from uh, Squash to deal with all of this. And the army still pushing in here, still getting damage done. Squash very low on the resources. Do not see Shaft Mine. Probably should have grabbed Shaft Mine here to get that gold income just a little bit faster. We do see a mining camp over here. You can easily just take villages off. This is the weakness of the Athena Rush. Uh, in a nutshell, is sneaking gold mines, or not necessarily sneaking gold mines, but just moving your villages around as your opponent controls somewhere. And it is looking like Squash has sniped so many units here of Pegasus Rush. Pegasus has been able to defend his fish thus far. You see a forward dock here from Squash. Very, very nice play to start harassing some of these fishing ships, abusing, well, not, maybe, not, maybe not abusing, but utilizing that extra bonus damage that cabinets get onto fishing ships. They're very, very good raiders. Kevin is searching over here to get some more damage done. And we see more military buildings coming down for Pegasus. Going in now with some stables as he's going to realize... Uh, probably the only way forward here is to transition away from Hoplites into Hippocon so that he has an answer for not only the Axemen, but more importantly, the Chariot Archers that are potentially going to be coming for him. Uh, so he is thinking about that, and you can see, look at that food. Squash has got so much food in the bank. No armory, though, just yet, and he doesn't have the gold, obviously, to advance, uh, but he's nearly full population. We still haven't seen restoration coming through. The unit's retreating back now for Pegasus. He's got a lot of gold in the bank. His food has been pretty neutered here. He's in a bit of a difficult position here, and we'll see how this is all going to go. That's the army of, uh, of Squash pushing forward here. And we do see Pegasus deciding to take this fight just a little bit as his army walking forward. And you see Squash just getting the damage done, retreating back. Very nice play. The army of uh, Pegasus not getting much DPS done at all. Nice turn there, sniping the Toxodi as the Toxodis are very much out of position here. Beautiful 
Beautiful play from Squash. That is some clutch micro. Now the Axeman getting some damage done. We will probably start seeing some Spearmen. We do see the restoration coming in here from Pegasus Rush in order to push forward even further. And then Squash just pulls back into his home base. Going to turn around, take the fight underneath Tower Fire, underneath Town Center Fire with the choke point. And that is done right now as Squash is defending beautifully. As more damage getting dealt over here. The Trireme still able to defend nicely. Thank you so much for the tier one, Mr. Dean the Bean. Appreciate you, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. And the army here doing some good, good damage. As Pegasus managing to push Squash back in yet again. But I imagine Squash, he's ready to go to the next age. He's had enough of the classical age. Had enough getting beaten up by this, this, uh, this Zeus army. He wants chariot archers and he wants them now. And he will be cleaned up very soon. Be able to throw that MIG doll down over here. Uh, Pegasus has not noticed that uh, that gold mine over there at all. He knows it's there, but he has not realized it's being taken. There's also a gold mine here that could potentially be being stolen or snuck. And more slingers coming in here for, uh, for Squash. Uh, as for Bubba Joe taking down. Uh, a nice play from uh, from Pegasus. He's still in a fine position here. He's still in a fine position, it seems. It seems like he's still in a fine position. So he just needs to consolidate a little bit and try and figure out what the next step is. Because winning, ending the game here is not the next step. Normally, when you go for these Athena-style plays, the next step after you've forced out what you could do, the damage you've done, is normally to get to the Mythic Age. So normally go Hera, and then an Underworld play with Lightning Storm tends to be the way forward. Uh, and we'll see if that's what's going to happen here or not. As Pegasus is getting pushed back. He's always getting a town center. This is not the play. This generally doesn't work. Uh, if, you're, if, if you're wondering, like, if, in my experience. Um, but we'll see how it's going to go. The, the uh, cabinet's getting some more raids coming in. This is beautiful from Squash. Squash is realizing he doesn't have mobile, mobile units to raid, but he does have mobile cabinets to raid, so he's getting that advantage there. We are seeing this fight happening. There's the Hathor coming through for Squash. We do see the Patsukos coming out as well as these Hippocon trading into this army. The Patsukos is going to be so huge for Squash. We see the uh, Rock out as well. Going to be looking for a Locust or something, getting some, uh, getting some free villager kills with that God Power. Maybe not free, but getting some villager kills with that God Power. We are seeing the Trireme fighting off these cabinets as best as he possibly can. We see all of that happening as the uh, Patsukos coming in. So much damage. Maybe maybe Squash can also get some more out. We see a, a Migdol coming down straight away. Beautiful play here. There's going to be uh, Chariot Archers coming soon. Maybe Camelry as well as an option. Potentially we see Salt Amphora as soon as he can. No Salt Amphora just yet, but he'll get that fairly soon and have an incredible amount of, of resources to boot. But Pegasus 2 Town Centers. Trying to spam those units out. He's no longer producing anything. And he is simply just going to wait. Here we see the, the, the Locust coming down. Four villager kills. It's completely fine. That's what you want. It's a heroic age god power down the toilet. Only four villager kills. Uh, but no gold income for a little bit here. As that gold mine is getting completely denied. Which is actually a big issue. As Pegasus is trying his best. To get up to the next age, we see these villagers over on this gold mine now, as the walrus are going to be getting eaten up. All of these classical units are going to be pretty useless here, but the spearmen are. The spearmen with their 5.0 speed are going to be able to run around, get a lot of good raids in. We see the villagers making a run for it here, but the spearmen have spotted them. So they're going after those bad boys as fast as they possibly can. Down sensor now coming up for Squash, as he's going to be skyrocketing ahead in this game. Still so much... Uh, very, very so much damage getting done onto Pegasus Rush's economy here from all of these cabinets of Squash. You see Squash just pushing around the side here, doing what he can. Dead villager on this location. Nice play. More a spearman coming in for Pegasus Rush as the villager's getting pushed off this location here. And that's that. Yeah, Pegasus will be able to click up now, but is it... He doesn't have an armory? Oh, no. He was clearly trying to get to the the uh, the next age, but no armory. Still building these guys. No, he's still building Trireme. Oh, dearie me. And now we can see the Camelry spotting this location out. 
Squash is going to be aware there's no units here. So he's going to just keep trying to put the pressure on. I wouldn't be surprised if Squash is able to get to the next age fairly soon. We still don't have Salt Amphora. Into you. That's the Spearman wandering around. There's that armory that's, that uh, Pegasus Rush wanted. But three town centers, potentially four town centers here as well for Squash. is so, so strong at this point. The Spearman have found their villages on the wood line. Going after those coming on this location as well. Villagers retreating back. No tower upgrade for Pegasus Rush. The villagers have to return into their town center and sit idle. The villagers on this gold mine getting taken down. We are seeing Dionysus as well. So not even going Apollo for maybe some sort of an attack. And it's looking like Pegasus is killed off, killed off, uh, killed off a camelry. That's about it. So villagers retreating into the town center. Dionysus on the way. We see the Odysseus popping out here. So he's Camelry doing the darnest. Get some damage done. Now we see our Siege Works for Squash. I wouldn't be surprised to see him going Mythic Age fairly soon either. As this game finally getting Salt M4, so those fishing ships are going to start getting a ton of economy here. As the village is getting sniped off. See the Patsukos coming in. The Odysseus pops out to try and finally pick off that uh, that Patsukos. The villagers shanking it down as he's desperately trying to hold on. What's Pegasus Rush doing now? Just about to click up. Just about there, but I don't know what else he can do at this point. He's so far behind the population. No gold in the bank. No talent centers. The talent centers are getting grabbed by Squash as well, so he's going four talent centers here. Super confident with that grab there instead of going Mythic Age. Have some stray army coming in here for Pegasus Rush as well. See, it's been completely put to rest here. It would seem we do see the Hydra in here as well. Might get a head. No heads. No heads for the Hydra. He's just going to chase these units away. Do the best thing he can. And there is the town center up. Squash pulls his Pharaoh in. Push that Hydra back. There's all of these uh, elk here you could be eating. Just saying. Now the Hoplite's coming in. There's just no units here. I don't see. He can't He can't fight this. And, and Squash notices it. He's just like, okay. Let me get some damage done. And Pegasus just retreats back. Let's see how this all goes. More, uh, more Trireme coming out. We just see the Skylar able to hold. And Pegasus has managed to hold here. He's doing his best in this position. But... He will decide to tap out in the 15th minute of this game. GG. Well played by Squash. I do... I I wonder if this town center was the big mistake. Because, like, Pegasus was... I wouldn't say he was behind. I wouldn't say his rush failed. I would say maybe he made some mistakes. But it wasn't, it wasn't game ending or anything. This town center just meant that he had to cut all military. I, instead, I, I feel maybe if he could pull back and just hold a little bit. And get Mythic Age. He has a shot. He has something up his sleeve. But this town center slows it all down. And, and that Heroic Age was put way, way late. He could have gone to Dionysus still with an earlier Heroic Age getting out the skull to hold on to his water a bit easier. He just didn't do that. Um, what I Okay, so this is what I would like to see. Because this is much more, much more difficult to defend. Um, what I would like to see is... You build your military buildings in your base against a Ra player because he's not gonna he's, he's not gonna scout you. He doesn't have a scout. He's got a he's got a wager, and you can bolt that if you need to. But he's not gonna run that into your, into your base to see those units getting built. And then when you would normally be hitting the heroic age, which is about nine minutes, you just go and kill your opponent. Your opponent will probably hit the heroic age then. So you just move in and you just say, "What's up?" No gold mine for you. I'm just going to push you and kill your town center, all that stuff, and live the dream there. You've got a really big advantage at that point with your army, so you just get some value there. But then again, I, I do think that the the uh, the other option, which is actually maybe even better, is you just make hoplite trireme, and you go after the docks around the sides. So you build the barracks on the side, you build a dock on the side, you go uh, king style on this map here with Zeus is another way to play it. And then finally, the other way, which I think might even be the best way is to just go for semi-fast heroic here with, with Trireme and just match the match the Poseidon. And then you can also go in with a heroic age with uh, Thracian horse 
cavalry and spirit of charge and with the dream or go straight to the mythic age through um hephaestus and hit some sort of underworld timing instead of going dionysus anyways that's my ideas there uh pegasus does not make th- manage to make it done get it done there and squash does get the dub gg if you guys enjoyed this game please consider hitting the follow on the twitch if you're on the youtube hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next one